guys welcome to today's video this is just going to be a, a little showcase and uh, a how to on how I've gone about painting an ultramarine in this rhino so uh, I'll get on with it shall I? ok so I've cut all the parts off the sprue cleaned up any flash assembled the actual tank itself now on this model I'm going to start with a white primer spray all the undercarriage of the tank black using the air gun. Um, I'm gradually going to start bringing this colour up the sides as well, maybe just covering the bottom quarter of the actual tank. Next I'm going to spray on ultramarine blue. Uh, I'm going to use this and try and overlap about half of the black. Th this way we should get a slight undertone of black into it and it gives a nice gradient throughout the tank. This next colour is matching blue for Leo. I'm going to use the same technique and overlap half the previous colour and then I'm going to spray everything on the back of this colour so that the rest of the sides are over the top of the tank as well. off the blue I'm going to use Leo's electric blue. I'm just going to try and clip the very high edge on the sides, uh, some focal points on the front, on, on top of any ridges and then give it a bit of a light dusting across the top just to blend it all in. Now here I've masked myself off an arrow on the top rear hatches using just torn off pieces of masking tape just to kind of stagger them around the edges now if you tear this off instead of cutting it it gives you that nice uneven edge hopefully as the paint job goes down this will start to look like a little bit of battle damage so I'm just going to spray over this with white now because we're putting white over a blue base colour this is going to need a couple of coats so I'm just going to give it a light coating, quick dusting and then the next coat of paint I'll come on I'll start building up the layers just making them gradually thicker and here's a quick shot with the masking removed so I've painted anything that's going to be metal with bulk gun metal uh, and now I'm going to start doing some weathering on the tank so I'm going to use electric blue and just clip all of the edges anywhere that basically take any wear or tear so I'll show you quickly on this corner and then I'll crack on and do the rest of the tank so I've put down the electric blue now I'm just going to go over it very gently with bulk gun metal just trying to clip the very corner of the actual panel I've painted 
painted all the lights with sunburst yellow and just put a bit of bolt gun metal over the actual grills on the front of them. What I'm going to do here is give them a wash of Griffin Sepia. Next up's panel lining. Now I'm going to go around the whole tank with no oil and basically just run a small bead into all the crevices around all the panels. As you can see, it's starting to come along now. Next up is lenses. I'm going to base coat all the lenses with a bright red and then slowly darken the reds down going through the burgundies. Um, as I'm painting the next darker colour on, I'm going to keep working it as well further and further towards the corner. Uh, this will give a graduation throughout the red. Then simply add a couple of coats of varnish followed by just one or two pure white dots just in the darkest corner that you've created. Using Chaos Black, you just can use an old tatty brush and just basically do a really heavy dry brush over all the exhaust systems. Any of the vents are also going to get the Chaos Black treatment, but I'm going to use the airbrush for this just so it feathers it out at the edges. Just in case anybody hadn't noticed, there's not actually any tracks on this Rhino. This is because I like to paint them on the sprue, it just makes my life a little bit easier. Because of the next few steps that I'm going to do on this, I'm just going to airbrush them top to toe in a light brown. Whenever I'm attaching treads to tanks, they always like to just lay out the treads in the order that they go on. Uh, also, I'll start from the middle and work my way out. This just seems to give me a better finish once the treads are actually on.
getting any of this on the bottom of the tank because we're going to do something in a minute and just build up that level of mud across the sides. going in a downward motion and this will just help us get the effect we're going for. see what I want to do next and drop us a comment if you've got any. Thanks again guys.